Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 11. Today I don't have a plan of what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna go along. It, it'll kind of be like a day in my life sort of vlog. But I do have a couple plans that I want us to do with you guys and that was very awkward. I'm sorry for all the hand movements. I had some coffee this morning or actually it's 1.30 but me and Jonathan didn't get out of bed until like 11 so <laughs> it was nice I'm not gonna lie but I went to Starbucks and I got a venti iced white mocha blonde well an iced hold on <laughs> let me try to get this straight I got a venti iced white chocolate mocha blonde <laughs> with vanilla cold foam no whip add caramel drizzle and i don't know if you can see that you probably can't but she's really yum i'll put it in the description because i re i really just bur butchered butchered that but my plan my plans for today are to put bows and name tags on this i need to turn on my christmas tree i'm still so fascinated oh where's my tree there we go me 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 that's goofy doing that but my plan is to put gift tags on these and get all the presents under the tree so i don't have to worry about it we only have a couple more people we need to shop for and there's a couple presents down there that i need to probably wrap but i just don't know if i am because two of them's for the dogs one of them's for jonathan and it could be a stocking stuffer if i really wanted it to be but to start off this this day i guess you could say um I'm gonna play some Animal Crossing and I'm just gonna set you up so you can watch me. It won't be a very long clip, I'm sure, because I'm gonna set you up on a time lapse. But it'll be fun. I love Animal Crossing. It's probably one of my favorite video games. I know you probably don't care to hear me talk about video games, but I have two video games that I love very, very much, and that's Minecraft and that's Animal Crossing. So yeah i'm gonna set you guys up and let you watch maybe you could consider this like an island tour i'll just like walk around but it'll probably be going too fast that you can't see anything it's not very professional either since you're going to be pointing at the computer screen like this and i'm sure there will be some sort of of blur that you can't see but I'm gonna play a little bit of Animal Crossing. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make some bows that I have learned over the years from working in retail. <laughs> we love retail around the holidays. <sighs> I hate retail. <laughs> I'm so happy that one day I will be a nurse, one day. Maybe not right now, maybe not anytime soon, but one day I will be a nurse. <laughs> but, okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in a minute. Well, yeah. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? It's not roasting Jack Frost nipping at your nose So I'm offering a simple phrase Although it's been said many times, many ways Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a very long time. It's currently 22.53, which is 10.53 um, p.m. by the way. And I really just let the day get away from me. I show You just have previously watched me playing Animal Crossing. And I told you my next clips were going to be like of me showing you how I make my bows and stuff. And you'll probably see in the thumbnail the bows that I'm talking about. And I was going to teach you guys how to make them. You can make this type of bow with any ribbon i had to run to my hometown because my car's in the shop so that well i didn't run there 
<laughs> Jonathan took me because it's an over an hour drive. It's like an hour and 10 minutes, but still, it's a pretty hefty, it's not hefty. What am I trying to say? We just had to drive somewhere. He had to take me somewhere so I could pick up a vehicle so that I could actually have a vehicle because I've been without a vehicle since Tuesday because it's been in the shop. Anyways, you're not here to listen to me ramble about my life problems, okay? You're here because one, you saw that Animal Crossing was on my thumbnail. You saw how I said I was going to teach you how to make bows and that's what we're here for, right? So, to start off, as I said, I'm going to be using tool. You can hardly see it, but you get, you'll get you You'll see it for sure once it comes together, but I usually keep it on the roll and you're if you don't know how to make these bows I'm about to blow your mind because when I was taught this is whenever I was working in retail I mean I still work in retail, but I was actually working at it like a, a boutique. So whenever I learned this I literally was mind blown and Yeah, so I just take the tool Do this so it's not as like thick, but at the end you're gonna fluff it back out so you have it in your hand and you're literally just going to make like one little bunny ear and then you're going to make an upside down bunny ear. And the biggest thing for me is to keep them sort of even, even though you can fix that at the end with how long and how short. And you make it as long as you want. So like right now, if I were to just stop, the bow would be this long. But I like to to fluff her up. Let me tell you, I thought my camera just went out of focus, but... I like my bows to be thick <laughs> in that department. So, for instance, I would have about this much ribbon. And so then you would fluff it up. But, so, I'm going to start back over. You know how we started with this, and I hope this actually makes sense, but you start with this down. Well, when you end, you're going to want the side you're cutting to be facing up. And so... I have my tail, and you're just going to do this, back and forth. Okay, so now I'm done. Then you're literally just going to cut her. And then you're just going to cut a strip long enough that you can tie around the bow. And my ring keeps getting caught in it, so I'm just going to cut a strip right here. Again, just make it skinny. Grab it like this. I like to grab it in my pinky on the back side, wrap it around, and so then I can just tie the knot using basically one hand. And honestly, half the time I use my mouth. So I just tuck it through, tie it in a knot, pull it tight. And then make sure you hang on to the two things because this is what you're going to tie to what you wrap around your present. So as of now, we have this bow and I literally am just going to cut her off and next you want to take each of the tools and just pull them apart so they're as wide as they can be and I know you probably can't tell because it's like my face in here but then you just pull them all apart and again try to keep up with the two that you tied I usually try to keep those somewhere in one of my fingers as I do this. And I also usually already tie this, I tied this to the present and then I get to work on the fluffing. So like just on one side, you have the fluff partially done and then on the other side, it's not fluffed at all. So I'm gonna finish this real quick fluffing it and then show you. Now you have a bow that looks like this. And it's really pretty, it's really pretty on presents. Let me see if there's one that I can tie this on, like how I would tie it. Looks like we're going to tie this one on to my grandmother. So I'm just going to take this tag off. And so next thing you need to do is get some more, t I almost said twine, get some more tool. Long enough that you can wrap it around the box twice, I would say. But it stretches pretty well. So like this will probably be good enough just for this box. And I'll show you why I say wrap it around it twice. Some people just wrap it around it once. For instance, like they would take it and wrap it around like this once. But, and I don't think this is actually long enough. So you can wrap it around. When I say twice, I mean like this. So you take it here, you're gonna wrap it around. And then on the back side, which I will turn this down for you. On the back side, you're gonna take them and you're gonna switch them over. Okay, 
So your hands are straight and you're gonna flip it over like this, pull onto it tight, and then you're gonna tie it onto this right here. So it'll be something like this. And of course you can always trim those and then you would just tie your bow to this, which obviously this bow is way too big for this. So I'm gonna grab some more tool because mine was not long enough the first time. Okay. So here we have the present and I, I like to start the beginning of it on the front of the present. And so what I mean by front of the present, like you have this side where you taped on the back, flip it over. And so I want it to go across here, flip it over. And then you're going to basically have it been here and you're just gonna twist wherever you would like. And so pull that tight. Come around. I like to go under as well. And then go under this side. And then just tie it into a little bow here. Or not a bow, just tie it into a knot like so. Again, we're going to cut these little things off. So about there. About there. And then I'm going to take this bow that we just made. Tuck one side under. So I'm gonna do it backwards for you guys. Well, it'd be backwards for me actually. Tuck under and then, so we've tucked under. And then next, all you're literally gonna do is just tie that bow in a knot to this present. So I usually do it twice just to keep it very secure so it don't go flying everywhere. And then you can really work on, on fluffing it. So what I usually do is make the bow, tie it to the box, and then fluff her up. So now we have this very poofy, poofy bow. And hopefully you can see it well enough. I know the lighting's not too hot in here, but very cute. And then you can add like a little name tag to like the side. You can attach it to here, stick a sticker anywhere. But for now, since I have <laughs> Uh, these but yeah that's basically how you make your bows and that's how I wrap my presents so I, I like to use tool and I honestly learned how to use tool when I started working at Hallmark and I don't know why I haven't been using tool my whole life because it really does spruce up a present just having a big old fat bow on the top of it and I really like it and if you have any questions or if I need to give a more detailed like look I can be more professional about it and set the camera up on something white so you can actually see what I'm doing. But that's basically it. I'm just going to be making ribbons, not ribbons, I'm gonna be making bows and putting on name tags on my presents to, so I can put them under the tree. Hey guys, so I just realized I didn't, oh don't mind that, I did not do an outro for this video. I I don't know what happened. I guess just after I made the bows for my presents, which I didn't even finish, I forgot to like end the video. So I'm coming on here to end the video. So I do have a couple of more videos lined up. I know I didn't upload on Friday. Technically today is Monday. It's 10.07 p.m. I got off of work at 7, so that's why I'm still here trying to edit this video. But anyways, I know I didn't upload Friday, and I don't upload on the weekends during Vlogmas because I'm trying to give my... I'm not trying to go crazy because I haven't been uploading that much prior to Vlogmas, so to give myself some sort of, of room to actually catch up on things, I don't upload on the weekend. So on Mondays, which is today, I do multiple days, but since I didn't upload on Friday... This is technically Friday's video, and then Tuesday, December 15th, will be the weekend video, and then Wednesday will be technically the Monday's video. So technically, I'm just a couple days behind, and if I ever get to catch up on that, I will, but that is all. Anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to explain that really quickly. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified when I upload a video. And I'll see you later. Bye!